All right, we're gonna be playing against Pinhead, Pin Pin Man. Ooh, that's spooky. Um, so Pin Pin Dude Pin Pinhead. Uh. He is the new killer in the public test build, so he will be released in the full game in a few weeks, I believe. I'll go over his perks in a bit, but for now we're going to be playing against him as Survivor. Ah! I've been chained! Oh, I see. So they actually crash into different objects, and if the line of sight is broken, they automatically break. Pretty interesting. Wow, this is going to make working on gens really hard. Like, wow. Yeah, you can't even work on them. Seems like they're really good at um, both slowing you down and alerting Pinhead to where you are. Pick me up. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> it's kind of buggy, but it is a PTB to be fair. Uh oh, she opened the box. And he came. Hopefully, he cleaned up. That's kind of gross. So it seems like his chains are a really good passive slowdown, but you could just get the box and then it'll either distract him or, um, or not, but either way, it helps. God. So he seems kind of similar to uh, any other ranged killer, where if you just avoid line of sight, then he's much weaker. Even his passive chains can't go through walls or anything. I'm blinded. No. Thank God I'm not a wraith. Oh shit. We're being chained on. Ah. Uh. Oh wait. Okay, that was a glitch. I was just tapping it and it would remove it. So now I have to hold it. Oh, it's got my ass. <laughs> this looks very normal. Oh fuck. Yeah, you can't you can't leave when you're chained. Interesting. I thought he had fucking blood warden. But no, you can't leave when you're chained. I didn't know that. That's really interesting. Yeah, so even in the PTB, um, the guy who played Killer admits that he has some solid potential. Usually the first thing you hear in the PTB is, Oh, this killer's weak as hell. Oh, he sucks. Or, oh, he's super overpowered. Nerf him. But honestly, Pinhead seems like a really good balance in between. The chains aren't too restrictive on survivors, but at the same time you can um, avoid them with the box. But it also opens you up to being targeted by a pinhead because he could teleport to you while you're um, solving the box. So really interesting. All right, next we'll play as him. All right, so real quick, let's go over his power. You can press and hold to create a portal and a chain comes out of it. Um, and then also uh, the lament configuration is that box. 
Uh, when it is left alone, it initiates a chain hunt by summoning chains to pursue survivors. So that's what was passively attacking us with the chains. And then when the Cenobite finds the Lament configuration, uh, it also activates a chain hunt. And it makes everyone scream. So now let's go over his perks. Deadlock blocks the most uh, progressed generator after another generator is repaired. So that could be really strong against Survive with Friends. And I think this probably won't be meta, but it could definitely be helpful in scenarios like that. So Scourge Hook. So four random hooks are changed into Scourge Hooks, and you see them in white. And then once a survivor is unhooked from a Scourge Hook, they suffer from the Hemorrhage and Mangled status effect. And the first time the survivor is healed, they suffer an 8% penalty to healing and repairing actions until they're injured again. So that's really strong. It, Of course, you have to hook them first, so it's not super strong but it can definitely be strong with the right build. And then Hex Plaything. So the first time you hook a survivor, they become cursed and Hex Plaything activates on a dull totem. The cursed survivor suffers from the oblivious status effect until it's cleansed. And then the ore is revealed to the cursed survivor when within 20 meters, it'll be 16 at tier three. And then for 90 seconds, only the cursed survivor can cleanse the totem. So this is interesting because you can fool people into thinking, oh, he has ruin, that's his ruin, or don't touch that, that's haunted ground. But then when they go to cleanse it, they can't cleanse it, only the uh, cursed survivor can. Kind of like an obsession, but specific to this perk. So that's really cool. All right, we're going to try him out. And then I have Thana. I wanted something that helps out with gens just so I have time to show the um, perks, but it doesn't like interfere with the game. All right, so let's try it. All right, here we go. I'm going to solve a Rubik's Cube real quick. All right, I'm going to kill some people. Alright, so there you see the white, you get the little chime, that's pretty cool. You see the white hooks, those are what um, do things and stuff. Okay, so you could cancel them like that. Oh, almost, that would have been cool. So yeah, you got some turning potential early on. It's just kind of tricky. Alright, let me try this. Damn, that's hard to aim. It's kind of like the Oni's charge. It starts off really slow at first. Alright, so someone's solving the cube. Or at least they're baiting it. Damn, that is really hard to aim. Wow, this rock sucks. Okay, you can cancel it before you actually hit it too. That is tricky. That's weird. Chase didn't initiate. Have you heard that? There's just no music. Alright, let's try to get her on this one over here. Yeah, really slow start. I don't know if that's just because I'm bad or if he's tricky at the beginning. But yeah, it's definitely hard to aim this stuff. Yes, yeah, so these survivors like already know that the best thing to do with this cube is to just bait it. Cause like I can't teleport then. That is so difficult. You really just can't hit it at a weird angle at the start. 
Alright, I hate to uh, get this person twice, but that's all I got. Oh my god, if they turn at all, you're not going to hit that. Oh, that person glitched out. Did you see that? That was pretty cool. I feel like we could have just M'd one anyway. Yeah, that is super hard to aim. Oh, so that one got blocked, because that one got uh, finished. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very tricky uh, to hook and stuff. You could use this for info, too, I believe. Not bad. Very difficult, though. I haven't found the cube yet. Can't tell if that interrupted anything. Oh, she had life. There you go. That's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like nurse blinking. Oh my gosh, how did that whiff? I think I'd slap my chin against my camera. The animation's really smooth though. You could go around curves and stuff pretty well. And we got the totem. Yeah, he is not an easy killer, starting off especially. But if you're good with nurse blinks, then I'm gonna... My hypothesis is that you'll be pretty decent with him. Because the portal itself is like... Your first nurse blink. And then the second one, you have like... Some control, but only at the start. The box. You opened it. I came... Oh, nice. So yeah, you press control to teleport. It wasn't giving me the prompt. At least I didn't see it. But yeah, you could just hold control to teleport to whoever's opening the box, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, you could do some serious curves with that thing. You have enough control, but it's tricky. That seems pretty helpful. I think it's best use is like right before a pallet or window, because that way they can't really... Yeah, it's pretty much impossible if they're behind something. Oh my god, if you turn... Yeah, it's just super sensitive, really. Okay, yeah. And you can't cancel it after you whiff or anything. So it's, it's kind of tricky. See how far I could go here. Almost to the exit gate. Yeah, so he's probably a medium to hard killer, just because his chains are so like finicky. Yeah, really. Balance landing, balance landing, spine chill, spine chill, borrowed time, borrowed time. What do you think this is? This is the PTB and you're sweating, come on. Alright, so that's gonna do it for the PTB gameplay. I hope you learned something about the killer. Um, as you saw, he's really tricky. Um, I did have an add-on to increase his turn rate, which was uh, the lively crickets. But even then, I'd barely move my mouse and um, 
it would just fly. So it's it's really tricky. I'd say it's about nurse level um, with flicking. It might just be my sensitivity, but um, yeah, that's my take on it. I'll give you one last twirl, and then I'll say goodbye.